for Barack Obama's connection with the one-time radical turned professor Bill Ayers. Now, we've told you about Ayers' past. On last night's show, we played you exclusive video of a recent speech he gave in which he talked about Sean's criticism of him. And uh, here is more of that video that you will see only on Hannity and Combs. Joining us now, former Clinton advisor Dick Morris. Now, to keep up to date with the presidential race and get Dick's column and newsletters for free, log on to DickMorris.com. All right, uh, Dick, here's a guy. They served together on a nine-member board. Now, what did he say in that video? He said I that he did it. face the law. You're found guilty or not guilty. The FBI couldn't really prosecute a case against him because of malfeasance on their part. He didn't go to jail. He wasn't convicted of anything. There are three solutions, uh, guilty, so, not guilty, and well, getting off on well, a technicality. Well, whatever. Uh, you know, technicalities worked on all sides of uh, left and right. But in any event, he was not convicted. He was, you know, for anything. For three years, he was on this Woods Fund board. Uh, they've appeared jointly on two academic panels. We're talking about Obama and Ayers. Um, he was, as we pointed out, never convicted. Their kids, I think, attended some of the same schools, the school where Bernadine Dorn, and his wife, is still involved in Chicago. I, unlike my partner, Sean, don't see this as a big political problem. Uh, there are those who want to tie this to Barack Obama. Do you see this as a liability? Well, look, everybody is worried that Barack Obama is really the Manchurian candidate, that somehow or other he's this guy who is pretending to be a center-left politician, pretending to be very responsible, but that when you push him a little more, you find a Reverend Wright or you find a Ayers underneath. Yeah. And the answer is we just don't know. We don't know enough about the guy. Now, there are two things that I think are important here. Number one is I know that in 2001 he was unrepentant. Um, what has he said since then? Well, let me, yeah. And secondly, how close do you tie him? That the kids go to school together? No. Yeah. That he went to his home to get his endorsement to run for office? Yeah. yeah. But maybe if he had a fundraiser at his house? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, I know fundraiser. that Bernadette Dorn is a terrorist. Bernadine. You don't, all right. Bernadine, well, let me ask whatever. you, first of all, let me put up on the screen something he did say recently on his, his blog. He, he wrote... Uh, regrets. I'm often quoted saying I have no regrets. This is not true. Uh, for anyone paying attention, I try to stay wide awake to the world around me. Life uh, brings misgivings, doubts, uncertainty, lost regret. I'm sometimes asked if I regret anything I did to oppose the war in Vietnam. I say no. I don't regret anything I did to stop the slaughter of millions of human beings by our own government. Sometimes I add, I don't think I did enough. This then is often elided. He had no regrets for setting bombs and thinks there should be more bombings. So he's saying that's not what he thinks, but people claim that based on putting various yeah, statements together. Come on. When you ask a guy that bombed the Pentagon, the Capitol, and two or three other government targets, do you have right. any regrets? And he says, oh, in life you always have regrets. Right. And then he says, I don't regret anything I did to stop the slaughter. That means that he endorses his setting of bombs. And but by the way, he yeah. wasn't acquitted. He was cleared on the technicality that the FBI surveillance overstepped right. the bounds right, the of his civil liberties. Or not, this really should be something used against Barack Obama and whether on, this is going to stick in a general how, election. It depends on how close the relationship is. You have Obama for 20 years sitting in that church listening to this guy now we're back to spew that. hatred, and all of a sudden he doesn't really remember what the guy said. Now, if he didn't they, say that, by the way. He said he was there. He heard, heard so many controversial comments, didn't agree with them, didn't hear the ones on the particular tape that we played. That's what he said. And. If, and now you have this thing. And the question is, how close are they? I don't believe in guilt by association. Wait, 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 look, but I, you have to see how close the association I, is. I'm getting frustrated because the facts aren't in here. I want to, everybody to understand why this is important. Alan, he admitted in his own writings, he admitted to bombing New York City uh, police that's, headquarters. That's not the issue. He admitted to bombing the, the Pentagon. Barack, he admitted, the, the hang on a second. Obama. He admitted now, well, I'm going to get to that in a second. On that videotape we just showed Dick Morris, he said he didn't do enough. Now, uh, when questioned about the associations, uh, the New York Times of all days, September 11, 2001, quote, 
I don't regret setting bombs. I feel mm -hmm. we didn't do enough. Mm -hmm. Now, when asked about the fact that they were on the same board together and that they gave speeches in 97 and 2002, at least the speeches I've been able to discover, Barack Obama's spokesman, David Axelrod, said they're certainly friendly. Now, I would think somebody besides Sean Hannity in the media ought to be asking the guy that wants to be president why you're friends with a guy that admits to bombing the Pentagon, the Capitol, and police Sean, headquarters. It all depends on the nature of the friendship. Come on. If he is, a very, if he is close to him, They're if friendly? he's the kind of guy he would appoint, if he's the kind of guy he listens to for advice, that's definitely one well, thing, well, and that's terrible. Well, here's what we do know. Would you, ever speak, would you ever go to a speech with and, have, uh, uh, and sit on a panel with a guy, an unrepentant terrorist that says he didn't set enough bombs? Yeah, I've sat, on a, I've sat on a panel on the Bill Maher show, Politically Incorrect, with, a white, as awful as he with, is. A, white, I mean, with a white supremacist. I, and I spent the show attacking the guy, that's a but different I sat story. on the panel. But, okay, let's get a copy of the speech. If he knew about his background, did he attack him? If, if this guy stood up and said in a speech, I didn't, don't regret setting these bombs, and then Obama got up and said, it's a lovely day, Okay, Look, then you really got something. If Barack Obama says, I didn't know anything about his background before yeah. I went to meet him in Chicago, but he's a well-known political figure. Th the, 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 the story goes, Dick, is that when he was beginning his political career, that he went to Ayer's house, and it's been corroborated by numerous sources, to seek the endorsement of a guy who admits to these, these terror attacks. Now... I, look, I, look, maybe we'll get a copy of the video of the speech, maybe we'll see them together, yeah. but they did so sit on a foundation together for three years. I think, that, I think that it's important to put this in a perspective. All of us, everybody in America now, left and right, is worried that perhaps there's stuff about Obama that we don't know, or perhaps that these associations indicate a different man than the one we've been right. seeing and attracted to. And I guess we all have different thresholds of proof and of warning. Uh, and I think it's something we all have to monitor very closely. All right, so Jeremiah Wright... But we have to do it without any guilt by association McCarthyite stuff. It's got to be... It's not McCarthyite it's stuff, be, Dick. It's got to be a real close association. He says... That, look, his campaign says they're, they're friendly. friendly. He's unrepentant in 2001, says he doesn't regret setting bombs. Now, you bombs. proved your case on airs. All right, I got Now that. we have to prove really? it on Obama. All right, now, well, that's the point. I agree. And yeah. But the problem is, is the news media in this country has not asked Barack Obama these tough questions. So we have Jeremiah Wright... And he says for 20 years he didn't figure it out. Right. If he had left the church 10 years ago, wouldn't have been an issue. Yeah. If he didn't know about, about Ayer's background, then he might have a case to make to the American people. But when you couple that with Michelle Obama's comments that America in 2008 is a mean country, I've never been proud of my country in my adult life, you begin to suspect that, you know, what, is the, what are their real yeah. thought processes here? You, you, exactly what you said is correct. You begin to suspect, and that's where the country is right now. Yeah. But he did admit to this, and I challenge anyone else in the news media out there, it's time for you to ask Senator Barack Obama why he was friendly with a guy that admits to bombing the Pentagon, the Capitol, and New York City police. And by the way, uh, another we question right that now. I wonder is yeah. what would the university doing giving this guy a professorship? A what are they doing question. honoring him in society? Welcome to he academia. didn't forgive. Right, he, didn't, he didn't ask for forgiveness. More with Dick Morris after the break.